when you're introducing sex, don't be serious. All right. Sex itakang is seriousness. <laughs> you must put a lot of uh, you yeah. know fun. Okay. Yeah, you must you, when you are so serious, mm. they, they fear. They, they get scared. Yeah. So yeah. But but today, no, 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 no. Don't handle it as a serious matter. Bring it like a joke. Mm -hmm. Today, we're gonna learn about tun tun. You see? <laughs> tun -tun, tun -tun. You know? Bring bring a lot of you know, be hilarious. Bring a lot of humor. You get that, eh? Bring a lot of fun so that they see her. Huh? Who made this thing is not a big deal. You get that, eh? But not to say today. I want us to learn why are you a boy? And why are you a girl? Can you sit there? Can you sit there? Then now you have to teach them about the seven private parts. Oh, seven uh, private parts? It's not one. No, there are seven. There <laughs> <laughs> are seven private parts. Every, oh. yeah, every boy and if, a, girl. a boy. A, a boy has six, a girl has seven. Ah. Yes. And this must come out from you. They are private parts because they are not public parts. Public parts means someone else can touch you. Private parts means even me as your mother and your father. Mm -hmm. I'm not supposed to touch you. I'm not supposed to play around with those parts. Mm -hmm. That's why they are private. Private means something that belongs to you. Yeah. You have the, the, the autonomy to, 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 to touch it. You only. Nobody else has the permission to touch it. So the first thing you talk to them is the mouth. The mouth is your private part. You don't go kissing everyone. Mm. Ah. You get that. There are so many diseases that are passed through kissing, mm -hmm. like hepatitis B. Mm -hmm. If someone has hepatitis B and you kiss them, mm -hmm. they, you, get you, you, you get it and it's not curable. Mm -hmm. It's even worse than HIV. Mm -hmm. We now have Corona. Mm -hmm. You know, you yeah. do kissing, one can yeah. pass you mm -hmm. that virus. Mm -hmm. You know, if someone has a throat infection and you mm -hmm. kiss them, that's your private part. Don't go kissing everyone. Even me as your dad and your mom, uh -huh. I've seen parents who kiss their sons and daughters. Mm -hmm. It is not right. Yeah, it's not right because now when you teach them, every other man or any other woman who comes along their way, they also want to be kissed. So that's a private part. Another private part of a child is the breast. Whether you are a man or you are a girl, you are, nobody should touch your breast. Remember, uh, your breast is a sex organ. Breast is a sex organ, it's part of the organ that, mm -hmm. that arouses a man or a woman. Mm -hmm. So no one should touch your breast. For girls, nobody should touch them, their waist. Mm -hmm. It's very sensitive. That's number three. Yeah, number, three, number now. three now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then number four, nobody should touch your buttocks. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And then number four, nobody should touch your anus mm -hmm. for girls. And then number six, nobody should touch your vagina. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And then nobody should touch your thighs. Mm -hmm. Those are seven. Yeah. You get that. For the boys, it's all the same apart from the waist. Men are not sensitive at the waist. You get that. Eh? So those are the things that you talk to them. Then now you go to the next level if you want to introduce sex. Mm -hmm. You tell them that uh, when, uh, if there is, you tell them, you mention people that they can be able to identify with. For okay. example, if you're talking to your son, you must use people that he knows. Uh, my, 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 my son, you are not supposed to be told by a woman who is like your mom, mm -hmm. who is like Auntie Grace, mm -hmm. you must mention that, who is like Auntie Anne, a smaller person, or who is like Auntie Eunice. Yeah. All the people that you are mentioning, mm -hmm. your son must know them. Mm -hmm. But you give them, wow. you know, varieties. Mm -hmm. wow. You know, a very mm -hmm. small one who is almost at his age, mm -hmm. another one who is a little bit older, uh, you know, another one who is like a, an, an, um, a teenager, mm. another one who looks like auntie now, mm. and another one who looks like mam mama. Mm. Nobody should tell you that they need you insert your penis inside their vagina. Mm. And you mention, you know, by name. Yes, their yes. vagina. Yeah. Nobody should tell you. Not so soon. Mom, uh. Eunice, Anne, and Grace. Mm. Uh huh. Dad. Mom, what is an EMB? Eh! Nobody. Yeah, they need to know that. You, for you, you are, you are, you are, you are introducing sex mm. in the level of a child, but that is sex. Mm. Yeah. You get, you end, you and then you are, in your, in your mind, you are the one who knows mm. that you are introducing sex. But, but to the child, you are giving information. Yeah. 
and then vice versa. Nobody should tell you, you know, like mom, uh -huh, like auntie, like Aunt Grace, or like Aunt Eunice, and like Aunt Anne, that they want you to insert your penis inside their, their mouth. You are teaching them about oral sex. You are teaching them about oral sex. Yeah. When you're not doing a blowjob, when you're not doing a mulambes, mm. but to the child you are giving information. Exactly. You're getting uh -huh. that. Nobody should tell you, my son. Uh -huh. Maybe the age of mom, and you mentioned the same, the same level. Uh -huh. He's supposed to tell you that he wants you to take your penis and insert it in the, yeah. in the anus. Uh -huh. You're the one who is teaching your child about, about homo homosexuality. homosexuality. Uh -huh. You know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's the way to open up to the children. Mm -hmm. You get that. Mm -hmm. And when it comes to the daughter, vice versa, mm -hmm. you also mentioned the same. That People nobody, that yeah, that they can be able to identify. And identify. Wow. Not like you, somebody like your dad, mm -hmm. not like Uncle Paul, not like uh, Uncle, Uncle uh, George, not like Uncle Ian. Mm -hmm. Anastariku kuambia, anataka kuingiza penis yake kwa your vagina. Mm -hmm. To the girl mm -hmm. you're introducing sex. Wow. And no, yeah, can you so, see that? Mom, 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 mm -hmm. I'm seeing two things coming up. Mm -hmm. I think in parenting has to be really intentional. Yes. Mm -hmm. Like we have exactly. to create that intentional time for talking about these things. Mm -hmm. Yes. One thing that has really stood out my husband is uh, wow. uh, Nini, the communication, yeah. talking to children in a, in a friendly way. Yeah. Another thing is Mama Lisema earlier, mm -hmm. affirming them. Mm -hmm. So how do we affirm them or when we are talking these things, after creating that environment, also your firm you want to build their confidence mm. in a way that they don't attach their confidence to things, mm. their looks, their outward looks, but just themselves. Yeah, before you answer, mm. you'll answer all of them. And then also you have talked about uh, <clears throat> giving this daughter and this son this information. Yes. Now, am I as a father going to teach the boy mm -hmm. and then as a mother teach the girl? Or I can teach both of them or we do it together all of us How, to, yeah, to Vamiya the, Kijana, the then to Vamiya Muschana. <laughs> <I'm a, laughs> <laughs> wow. I don't think there is any formula, because mm. already you have agreed as a mother and a mm. father. Yeah. I don't think there is any formula, mm. because already both of you, you are aware this is your season of teaching your daughter and your son about, yeah. about sexuality. Yeah. But what I see works best yeah. is when you swap. I take the guy, I, yes. you take the boy. I take the boy. Uh -huh. Then after that, next yes. time, mm. we swap again. No, we swap again. Mm. I take the boy, mm. and I, because there's something probably the father did not explain properly, and mm. I'm able to explain, yeah. and vice versa. Mm. So you, 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 you both exchange. Mm. You can begin mm. with one, or you can, but I see the swapping working very well mm -hmm. because they get so excited mm. that it is dad who was telling them about themselves mm. and it wow. was mom telling them about their penis. You know, yeah. they get so excited. Mm. So let's first of all begin with swapping. swapping. Then mm. after that, now individual. We, the, the individual, now the daughter comes to me and that. And so I affirm and rectify mm. or add on what daddy said. Mm. That one works very well. Then after you have done that, mm. that's when now you bring them together. Mm -hmm. And you tell them, uh -huh. we've had now talks about, about sex. sex. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, we want to see, as your mother and your dad, what did you understand? What, 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 how, did you, how did it come out? Mm -hmm. I want to start. I want to start. Mm -hmm. Now, you see, mm -hmm. even they are competing. No, it's not called, it's not called susu. It's called vagina. Ata wao tundi wata korektiana. No, I eat with susu in a penis. Wow. wow, una una there. Mom told Atal in the V A G I N. Dad wrote to me. Mm. So you find now they have now even notes to it compare. Becomes free topic it to becomes discuss. a free topic. Then when you're introducing sex, mm. don't be serious. Alright. Sex itakangi like seriousness. <laughs> <laughs> you must put a lot of uh, you yeah. know fun. Okay. Yeah, you must when you are so serious, mm. they, they fear. Scared. They, they get scared. So, yeah. <laughs> today. No, 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 no. Don't handle it as a serious matter. Bring it like a joke. Hey, today, we're going to learn about tun tun. You see? <laughs> tun tun, tun tun. You know? Bring, bring a lot of, you know, be hilarious. Bring a lot of humor. You get that, eh? Bring a lot of fun so that they see her. Huh? Yeah. This thing is not a big deal. Yes. You get that, eh? Yeah. But not to say today. I want us to learn why are you a boy <laughs> and why are you a girl? Can you sit there? Can you sit there? <laughs> hmm? 
don't to focus. Look at me. Do, do, yeah. Focus on because no. what I'm going to tell you the, is it's very serious. There's a very serious point, matter. Yeah, sit at Takata and So be You see now that kind of an introduction, <laughs> you put the children fear. fear. So it you must anxiety. put a lot, it must they must feel free, uh -huh. they must ask questions, allow them to for that information to sink, let them look wowed. Let them express, and then you are telling them. Then when they are wowed, you also wow with them. You get that, eh? When they, are, they they look like, and then when they look like they are they are really scared. You you look like, hey, it's fun. You must make sure you learn their nonverbal communication mm -hmm. because you want to communicate. As Betty was saying, communication is very important, yeah. and communication is making sure they understand. Wow. The understanding is very important. Mm -hmm. Then after that now, after now you have introduced that, mm. then now private you keep parts. on, you, about mm. the private part mm. and why they should not, like for example, how style kui kuchukua penis yako, uenda uchukue kuku, ulale nayo, kai mom, kuku, how do you do, eh, au mbwa, ichi wawa, ile, dogi mom, unambia, eh, kuna watu wanafanya hivo, na istahili kuwa hivo, ata mungu, Amekata yo maneno. Yeah. So you una, una, una bring now really up bring the, scripture. the scriptures. Yeah. Like one of the greatest scripture mm. is Proverbs 31 mm -hmm. from verse 1 to 9. Wow. Good news version only. If you read another version, it will not come out. Good news Bible. Yes. And that's what the Bible that they carry when they are going, to, they're school. going to school. We bought them. They have them. Yeah, they have them. Yeah. The good news. It has very good English. Mm -hmm. It is the only Bible that speaks very well about sex to the children very well and they're plainly. able to understand plainly with the very simple english so good news bible even if you don't have it download it on your phone mm. let them read it from your from your phone so when you're talking about you should not mm. uh, take like a chicken mm -hmm. or a chihuahua um, or so like you're talking about, it's about the bestiality. Mm. thank you you know that's what actually you're introducing to mm. them yes yeah <laughs> when you're talking to them about mm. their sexual organs maybe mm. for example you want to introduce them about masturbation mm. you just tell them that god has created a girl mm. with something with a small with a small flesh which is usually here at the top. That part is very sensitive. You are not supposed to touch it with your hands. Mm -hmm. You get that, eh? Mm -hmm. When ukiyoga, unastari kupita hapo haraka, hata ukuangi na uchavu mingi. You get that, eh? Yeah, because you are not sexually active. You know, and every question they ask you, may the Holy Spirit give you wisdom on how to to repackage it. But usimwambia nitakwambia, don't postpone and then you don't act on that. Mm -hmm. Children are very wise. If you tell them, I'll mm -hmm. tell you, can we talk that next time? Then you have no next time. Mm -hmm. They'll go to seek for that information on the social media mm -hmm. and internet or even their friends and they may get wrong information. Mm -hmm. So children, you have to introduce small, 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 small. And you keep repeating it. You don't talk about it today and then you stay for three months. Make it a routine. Everything. Yeah, you keep repeating it on Wednesday, Thursday, when I mention something about sex, mm. Friday, until they see her here. Kumbe sex is no more in this house. Mm. How do you handle a situation whereby you're watching a movie with your children? Yes. And you're seeing here, it was a family movie. Mm -hmm. And auntie is reconciling with the uncle mm -hmm. of the movie, the, the starring. How do you how do you react to that? <laughs> you see, if you have already given them this other information we have talked about, yeah. they have already understood that they are not supposed to kiss anyone unless yeah. that person is their husband or wife. Mm. We always think that cartoons are meant for children only, mm. but I found that cartoons have already been corrupted, corrupted so much. So much. Mm. Yeah, with homosexuality. Homosexuality. You find that mm. they, unapata cartoon ambayo, there are two men with a baby, mm. they call it a family. Mm. Man, man. Child, mm. another one is woman, woman, child. Mm. They're already telling that it's it's okay to be two men mm. with the one, and you can have or a even family. there is just uh, another one promoting perversion. Yeah, they are mm. seated at the beach. The one I was telling you about. Mm. My kid, my kids were actually watching a movie and um, wow. a cartoon, and um, I I got interested, mm. and it took me a, a certain point. I'm seeing like the the, the two cartoons on the beach. Mm. The, and the love emojis is all there. I was like, what kind of cartoon is this? What's the name? Don't watch this one again. Mm -hmm. So you have sometimes mm -hmm. to create that time. Just peep through what they are watching. Peep through. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's very important. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's why the mother, the, the parents mm -hmm. must exercise. You know, you must listen. You must be open. Yeah. You must observe. You get the point, eh? And you must be keen. Mm -hmm. That is the word look. You must listen. listen. Yeah, you must have eyes that hear mm -hmm. and and ears that see. Mm -hmm. mm. Then voice in parenting. Eyes that hear, ears that see. 
you, uh, that uh, when you are parenting children, yes. you must have eyes that is that hear, I and you must have ears that is see. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I knew. So that, oh, I didn't get that. So it means that I can't even go to the sitting room. My ears yes. can see. You should see. Uh -huh. You get the point. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's the parenting. And the eyes yes. Appearing. And then the word look, uh -huh. you must exercise. The word look, look, the L stands for listening. Mm -hmm. You must listen. What are they watching? That's the way she said mm -hmm. she listened. Mm -hmm. Then after that, you must be open. Yes. What is this that you are watching? In Aito Aji, what cartoon is this? Mm -hmm. You get that? Then you must observe as a parent mm -hmm. and you must be very keen. Keen, you must be keen. Hey, keen and yeah, and, and that's why it's very important when you are with the children, mm -hmm. go to their bedrooms, get to open those drawers. You might find a sex toy is there mm -hmm. and it was given by a neighbor. Mm -hmm. But if you are not observant, you are not, you are not, you are not listening, you are not observant, you are not open. You are not keen. Yeah. Some of these things will be introduced to your children in your presence. Yeah. Also, we have teenagers, maybe we have, they already have laptops or mm -hmm. phones. It's always good, they say that you, you can get in a, a boy's or a girl's room oh, yes. and you see her maybe closing windows on the laptop very, very fast. Mm -hmm. She must have been watching something that when you got in... Mostly oh. pornography. Yeah, Alifunga mm -hmm. Raka. Also their phones, take their phones, go through their history mm -hmm. of browsing. Mm -hmm. Check their browsing history wow. of the boy's phone, mm -hmm. of the girl's phone. Mm -hmm. Just walk in their rooms because I know Napata Tines and Bao Kotarina phone form too. You've bought them a smartphone, mm -hmm. you form one upon a smartphone. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's right, but you'll tell us that one later. Mm -hmm. But you find that you just pop in the room in Tamata can be number, help me with your phone. Yeah. Then to a password, you go and check through the history recent conversations and you can able oh, to, yes. that's, to very that, that's keenness I think it's yeah, being that's very keen. keen and you're able to observe and mm -hmm. be able to help them yes and tell them this is not right this is wrong mm -hmm. and so like for us because we have children who are quite big now mm -hmm. we have advised them not to be closing their bedrooms and actually I like what yeah. you say yes and that's yeah, why I wanted to say something about room, that eh? mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. uh, like like my wife is saying mm -hmm. our children yes though they are Big, uh, big eh? mm. we have told them they should not cross their bedroom. Their bedrooms at because night. Because number one, mm. that bedroom is not even their their house. <laughs> Listen to Rijenga. <laughs> All right. Sometimes we yes. want to go and pray for them at night. Yes. Mm. The yes. promptings. Yeah. Exactly. So if they have closed the door, how do we get in? And yeah. and you see their parents. You must show them say, that you care mm. and you care and you love. Mm. That's why you are telling them not to open. So it yes, should not be uh, at unawambia mm. no, 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 no. It must be from a point of caring, mm. a point of concern, a point of I may want to pick something from your bedroom and I don't want to disturb you. So let the bedroom stay open but close. But if you are bathing, mm. if you are clothing, if you are dressing, dressing mm. close it. So mm. I was uh, just saying mm. that uh, there are parents who like say they can't get into the bedroom mm. of their children mm -hmm. uh, because they have come for holiday mm. or they think not because they are 13 18 mm. it is wrong to get years. into their bedroom no no i want to say mm. it is not it's a long thing because yeah. mm. you can't it's enter into the bedroom of your of your son or your daughter mm. it is a long thing mm. because you never know what you will find in that bedroom. You never know what they could be hiding in that bedroom. It's not a wonder to find that there are some funny Condoms. things. You know that you could not have known Panties. if you never went in that bedroom. When I put condoms, maybe they are there. Yeah. Train up mm. a child, mm -hmm. not an adult. A the child. way he should go. Mm. So I think when I am speaking to my son, mm. I'm training him. Sure. What he can wow. see out of me, I am training him. Your actions, you are, you are you know, training him. Yeah, my actions, yes. your words, my words, your nonverbal you know, communication, my nonverbal, my character, character, my way of day-to-day -day life. Mm. I, I am on a day-to-day -day basis, mm. either consciously or unconsciously. Thank you, Pastor. I am training this child. Very true. But when you get 18, when you get 25, mm. when you get 30, this is how to handle yourself as a man, mm -hmm. as a lady. Mm -hmm. Let's say, when he is old, mm -hmm. he will not depart. Mm -hmm. So if my training was, uh, was, 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 was negative, mm -hmm. it was toxic. Mm -hmm. Thank you, toxic. You know, toxic. Yes. that boy will that be, be girl, toxic. will be double toxic. Wonderful. Yeah. Because I was training him right from the beginning. Wow. And I think that is why it is very important mm -hmm. to check even though you are, you are angry, 
you are bitter. It is not about this boy. He is not the one who made you angry. I love that. It's not about man. this girl. Yeah. Mm. Very true. So separate the boy and the father. Mm. You know, separate the, the, the girl and the dad. Mm -hmm. It's very, very important. Because mm. now when you say that the mother and the boy, they are bad. Mm. Surely. Parents, I want to talk to you kindly. There are two things you cannot put on hold. One of them is to a tour. Mm -hmm. You cannot say that um, let me travel and come after 60 years, I'll continue from where I left. If your wife was 30 when you are traveling and you come back after 60 years, 30 plus 60, that will be 90. What can you do at night? You can't put on hold to a tour. The second thing you cannot put on hold, it is parenting. If you left your son at five years and you come back after 25 years, that will not be a child. It will be an adult. When you speak to him, you'll be talking to 25 plus 5, that is 30. You must be talking to a husband of somebody. So if there are things and values that you never put in them, it will be too late to do that. But there are things that can wait for you. You do the most important for now. Looking for money, you can put on hold that. You first will take care of the most important. Mm -hmm. Project, business trips, and all that. These things can wait for you. You first of all do the most important. And I want to remind you, when we are gone and we are out of this world, when people are talking about you, they don't talk about the Prado you bought. They will not talk about the land that you acquired. Not about the business that you had, but they will talk about the wife and the children that you left behind. My question is, what are we going to talk about your children? What will we talk about your spouse when you are not there? That means your children, your wife, your husband, they come number one before that trip, before that investment that you want to make. Think again. Well, it takes healthy adults to raise healthy children. So we need to build ourselves to be in a space of health. And if you raise healthy children in a healthy space, they grow up to be healthy adults as well. And that's how we are going to have healthy marriages. You see, if you are an absentee as a parent, there is a lot of emotional mishaps in these children. They need to have us available. If you are a young parent, this information, I believe, has really helped you. I've been helped as well. And if you've gone ahead, please don't lose hope. You can still go back, recapture, and do the necessary needed to be done. Wow, I want to speak to all the parents who are listening to us, and I want to tell you that there's no script, there's no manual for parenting. But the word of God is very clear, that the training, it is your part and my part for me to do. And I came to tell us that you need to train your daughter and your son as a mother and father values that they will remember when you are long gone. And I want to say this, when it comes to sexual matters, it is important for you and me to know that it is your personal responsibility. Before the teacher teaches them, before the internet teaches them, you need to have mentioned about sexual education to your child in the level of a parent because you are the only person who sees your daughter and your son as a child. Any other person in the estate, in the community, in the surrounding, sees your daughter and your son as a sexual partner. That's why most of the children are raped, they are molested, they are taken advantage of because without the neighborhood is safe. I came to let you know, even your own relatives, we have had so many people, you know, being molested by their own cousins, their fathers, their mothers, you know, and even relatives. You need to be very careful. Teach your child about private parts so that no one will ever take advantage of them. They can be able to take control 
over their sexuality. And when we do that, God in heaven will be happy that he gave us children and indeed we handled them as rewards from him. Parenting is one thing that does not come with the manual. So you'll have to look for your information that will help you to raise your children in the way that the Lord wants them to be. And I think we are here to help you get this knowledge that will help you to raise children that will be of importance in this generation. Because we were raised through his work. Let us not do the same thing. Let us be better parents. Let us be better fathers to our children. And I think you've learned so much about parenting and how we can introduce sex education. You know, what we're doing nowadays is we leave the internet to educate our children. We leave them social medias to educate our children on sex matters. And that's why they lose it. So I think the Bible has given us direction on how we can do this. And even apart from that, from this show you have learned. So I know you've learned so much from this show. And you're going to put these things in practice. Until next time, God bless you.